Well, it's hard to describe my next guest with just a few words. He is, here's, I'm gonna try though. He's a multi-platinum award-winning singer, songwriter, actor, Broadway star, and he has just released his eighth studio album. Plus, you know, just for kicks, he's also starring in a brand new series on Netflix. I'm very excited to welcome Josh Groban to the Your Morning Studio this morning. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Here. Yeah. I was just teasing you saying, do you even know what it's like to slow down or take a break ever? Uh, you know, I, 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 I sometimes plan in my head, I'm gonna take a little time <laughs> off, and then things just pop up and I get excited by those things. So I, I, I've, I've postponed vacations pretty steadily for the last 20 years. Oh my word, <laughs> yeah. all right. We're gonna talk about the TV show in just a moment, sure. but I wanna ask you, first of all, uh, about Bridges, eighth sure. studio album. Yeah. Uh, you wrote a lot of the content on this one. I did. My last album was a musical theater album, and then I went on to Broadway. So I had, you know, I've had since 2013 to kind of, you know, live life, have experiences, write a lot of songs. I had a lot of stuff kind of ready to go on my iPhone when I when mm -hmm. I got off Broadway. So, um, so this so it was kind of natural that my first original music album in many years would have a lot of very personal songs on it. And so I just dove into the process, and it was a very organic, very natural process. Lots of really exciting ideas came about, and um, you know, the muse was kind, as they say, and it was just, um, it was very fluid and a lot of fun to record, real passion project. You seem like you don't have a lot of fear now, so you're acting on Broadway, and then you're like, you know what else, I should, be, I should also be writing songs for an album. <laughs> but you didn't start out that way. Right. And I love the story of you know, David Foster calling you saying, we need you to fill in yeah. for Andre Bocelli, and yeah. you said no to David I Foster. I did, I did, yeah. Maybe I was more fearless then than I thought. <laughs> Maybe more, more scary to say no, but I, 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 you know, I just, I said to myself, you know, I don't know if I'm the right guy for the job, uh, you were 16. I was 16, but I didn't have stars in my eyes. I wasn't thinking to myself, I want to be a recording superstar. I was thinking, well, I'm going to, go, I'm going to go to college. I'm going to go study theater. I hope to be on Broadway or the West End one day. And I just wasn't thinking that way, even though I grew up in L.A. So he called me back, thankfully, and he said, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Get over here. And, you know, 20 years later, uh, from being a 17-year-old stand-in to now having a song that I was able to record with Andrea on the Bridges album um, is so full circle. You know, that's... When the doors swing open that way and you never expect where the stars are going to align, it's really cool when something very full circle and meaningful happens like that. Do you know what else I find cool? That you, David Foster, and Andrea Bocelli are all still friends. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, I mean, sure. I mean, this, this is a business where, you know, you really hang on to and appreciate those people in your life early on that had belief in you. Mm -hmm. And any of us that are lucky enough to do this for a living, I think, can all pinpoint that moment or that person when they were younger that said, hey, kid, I believe in you and I'm gonna give you a chance. And uh, for me, that was David. Uh, for Andrea, he, you know, he, he, by accident, he missed a flight. So <laughs> I'm thankful to him for missing the flight. But, um, but yeah, you, ha you have to maintain those friendships because you go through so much together creatively. You spend so much time together. You share history together. And so, yeah, we'll always have that special connection. Is there any, but you do a lot, you do a lot of duets on Bridges. Yes. Uh, Sarah McLaughlin yes. is on there as well. Yeah. Big fan of her. Uh, yeah. Is there anybody you haven't done a duet with yet that you'd like to? Uh, Bjork has always been on my bucket list. Really? I just think she's brilliant. I think we'd have a lot of fun together. I would love to, um, to work with Yo-Yo Ma. I love working with instrumentalists. I love, I love. I'm surprised you haven't worked together writing. yet. You know what? He is another one of the most busy people on the planet. And uh, we've just missed each other so many times. But, but one of these days, we'll, we'll get a chance to do it. And there are so many contemporary singers that I'd love to sing with. I mean, people like Adele would be amazing. But, um, but you know, I've, I've been so fortunate. I've sung with my heroes. I've been able to share mm -hmm. the stage with people that I've idolized and, and people that are new and exciting. And it, it always challenges me. And it, it gives me something different that I couldn't do by myself. There must be a lot of people hitting you up to do duets with them. You're a hero to a lot of people. Well, it's very kind. Uh, I, I do, I do. I love when I get asked. Uh, sometimes I'll sing on somebody else's album. Sometimes uh, they'll sing on my album. You know, I was just recently on Tony Bennett's last album and, uh, and, Sir, and uh, Barbara Streisand's last album. And so when I get asked by somebody that I've looked up to my entire life, it's just always an amazing thrill. Uh, you are doing a bit of a duet right now on Netflix with uh, yeah, Tony Danza. So to speak, yeah. You, uh, you play his son. Yeah. And, uh, I'm fighting and he's singing on the yeah. show. Figure that one out. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tony Danza sings in the, uh, in the opening intro yeah. and, and not you. And not me, no. I, um, you know, I, feel, I felt like uh, in, in, in my musical day job, I, I, do, I do a lot of singing and thought uh, we, we kind of made the conscious decision that perhaps... <laughs> Uh, this homicide detective that I'm playing, if he opened his mouth and had a huge baritone operatic voice, <laughs> perhaps that might be a little distracting to the character. Uh, maybe he would have done something else for a living, for instance. Um, but Tony um, plays a character that is, you know, he loves to sing and dance, and he's got that, you know, he kind of wears that on his sleeve. And so he's, he's had a great time doing that uh, in place of me on the show. The relationship between the two of you reminds me of the mother-daughter relationship in Ab Fab. I don't know if you ever watched that I love show. Ab Fab, absolutely. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, me of the we should be so lucky to have that kind of uh, chemistry. Yeah. Uh, oh, 
working with Tony was a blast. I, I just loved filming the show. It's super different for me, but I learned so much and, and just uh, enjoyed every minute of it. Such a thrill to have you here. Big Glad fan of your music. Thank you. And I also think you're incredibly funny. Uh, Josh's so album, by the way, is called Bridges. It's out right now, and we'll be right back.